Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Frontender. I spend most of the day in my coding tools, WebStorm, iTerm, and Visual Studio Code. And starting 2020, I wanted to find a dev font that is truly inspiring, gorgeous, and joyful to work with. I started my search and I was looking to pay and buy the font outright. My search didn't last very long because I found something that is truly what I believe to be awesome and works really well for me. A little bit of background, I'm a big JetBrains fanboy. I use WebStorm, it's my numero uno tool, followed by iTerm and Visual Studio Code. So it was an amazing coincidence that they decided to create a font that works for the developer community. Enter JetBrains Mono. It's a typeface for developers. Just like they say, it is truly amazing. You can find this website pretty easy. And if you want to know the direct URL, it's right here. JetBrains.com slash LP slash Mono. This splash page is truly fun and informative. Let's take a look. They highlight the different features of letter construction, its ability to adapt to the source code, all the different languages supported, weights and matching italics, the open source licensing, and ligatures. So I'm just going to skip ahead to go over these different features. Look at that. It's, I tell you, I've been living in it. It's truly awesome. Before this, I was using Monospace, Monaco, Consolas. And if you look at the comparison that they've provided here, you can see the beautiful visual appeal of this font. They have more information on eye movement and some animations on the construction of this font. And ligatures. So for those who don't know what ligatures are, it is meant to reduce visual noise and make the eye process less on the symbols. The analogy for this is spoonerisms in words. This is the symbolic equivalent of that. So you can see here what it means and looks like. So they have more explanation on forms and languages. So now in 2020, all JetBrains products comes with its standard. If you have an older version, you can download it and install it, not just in JetBrains products, but also in Visual Studio Code and iTerm and whatnot. They have also provided recommended settings with a size of 13 and the line spacing of 1.2. What works for me is a size 14 and the line spacing of 1.3 and it looks really good. The licensing is Apache 2 license, so, so it's perfect for all of us. And they also have given a clear FAQ on usage. So I'll just highlight the details. You can install it on any code editor. You can make your own poster with it. You can use it in the logos, use it on your website, in your applications, and even you can design your own font with it. That is welcoming. Super full kudos to you, JetBrains. So now let's take a look at what it really looks like in these different code editing tools. This is my WebStorm setup. And I have an Angular application open with different types of files, JSON, HTML, TypeScript, and CSS. I've been having so much fun this year using this font in my toolbox. For those who want to know what theme and scheme I'm using, I'm using dark purple theme with the friction scheme from Rainglow. I'm actually using line spacing of 1.2, so correction to what I spoke. So let's take a look at what this looks like in Visual Studio Code. I'm using Base 16 Dark Ocean color theme, and I have the same project open with the three different types of files. And it's truly, truly beautiful to look at and work with. And lastly, let's take a look at iTerm. I have three columns open with different types of content, and it's truly gorgeous and makes my work life so much fun. So there you have it, folks. Go ahead, install JetBrains Mono on your machine and use it in all your coding tools. And go make something. If you found this useful, hit the like button, crush it if that's how you roll, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.